Hi, and welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing a metal diamond painting pen from B Note. So I was uh, browsing the internet a few weeks ago, just uh, scanning around for diamond painting stuff, looking for something maybe a bit different. And I came across this pen and the thing that caught my attention is it is made of metal. Now, I have a lot of diamond painting pens. I have wooden ones, acrylic ones, hybrid ones, even a glass one, but no metal ones. So I saw it and I thought, I'm going to get that. And uh, I went on Amazon.de uh, because I live in Denmark. We use Amazon.de, which is based in Germany, and uh, they didn't have it. So I tried searching around Copenhagen, couldn't find it, so I ended up ordering it from America. And it cost me an extra $10. Interesting packaging. So it's good old Amazon. An M8 envelope, which is huge for a diamond painting pen. Mm, this is nice. So, uh, wasn't sure what to expect, but um, you can see uh, B Note DIY start here. We've got support, strive to deliver smiles for all users. So it says here in small print, B note metal diamond painting pen, purple, new. That's nice, it's new. Satisfaction guaranteed, diamond. So, uh, first time I've seen one of these. So we'll open it up. It says we need scissors, but do we really? No. Okay, so it's a resealable bag. It's more than just a pen. as well get the tray out of the way. Diamond painting tray, um, a triangle with a flat base. Not really any good. Um, this is just a, a cheapy basic tray but you see this one has lines in the bottom and those lines are there for a reason. When you pull your drills in and you shake the tray from side to side the drills will flip over these little lines and sit the proper way with the base down. If you've got a flat base with nothing, they just sort of slide around. So, no point for uh, the tray. Uh, I won't use that at all for anything. So, anyway, that's a tray out of the way. We'll have a look and see. Ah, okay, so we get some uh, wax. We get a pink wax hat and a blue wax hat. They feel very thin. Uh, nice packaging though, I like that. Look at that. Whoa, look at the colour, man. That's nice, I like that. Almost like guitar plectrums. So they're quite thin, um, but. I will definitely try them. A bit different. Um, normally, uh, when you get pink wax, it tends to come like this, but these are definitely thinner. I don't know if it's going to make much difference. But still, um, I didn't know that I got wax with it. I didn't really read the description. I just saw the pen, thought that looks cool, and uh, 
I saw it was made of metal and I thought, okay, I don't have a metal pen, so I do now. So here we have uh, important. Thank you for your purchase. Important. Warm tips. Please check the product. Warm tips. Hmm. Please check the product firstly to make sure all accessories are included in the package. If there is anything missing or damaged, please contact us via support at beano.club immediately. Our amazing customer service will ensure you know our product better and clearly. Okay. Warranty card, we're here to listen and help. And then you can contact them through Amazon, ask them questions. Lifetime support customer service. Blah de blah de blah. Okay, so basically they're saying you are going to be super satisfied and if you're not they're going to fix it. Okay, so this is the other thing that was interesting. So these are the tips. Mm. We'll talk about them in a minute. So I'll put them to the side. Let's get down to the actual pen. It's a very nice colour. Purple. Lilac. The thing that I was really interested in and immediately was how heavy is it going to be? Um, well, it's heavier than the plastic straw. So this is the standard diamond painting pen. And this is the bean. So you can see it's, the actual body length is the same, even though it looks longer. But it's because these tips are so long. So they're not standard tips, that's the first thing. Um, a lot of pens that you get have the standard uh, diamond painting tip or diamond painting pen tip that you get in the straws. So a lot of the pens that you get will have this kind of uh, tip in them. Which makes it easy to replace them because if you've got a few diamond paintings you get a pen with every kit so you end up with a stack of these things. Um, so if the tip gets damaged you can uh, quite easily replace it. Not the case with this. But these tips are made of brass and brass is a soft metal. It can get dented, it can split over time as well and if that happens it won't pick up drills so you have to replace the tip. The tip on these are steel so the chances of them getting damaged are very very slim uh, under normal use and uh, as you can see it's a, a double ended pen the other thing that's different about this again it has something that I've never had before um, one end we have I don't know how close I can get we have the round so it's standard round tip but on the other end we have a square tip so again I've never tried a square tipped pen it's going to be interesting to see how well it works or doesn't um, all of the pens I've got use a round tip um, a lot of them have these even the, the custom ones they, they have the standard tip but then they have some other ones like this one that have the steel tip but it's it's just a round uh, tip so square tip something new the other thing that's new is those tips as i showed just basically wiggle out they're push fit and then wiggle out if you want to replace it these ones unscrew and it's actually a metal thread going into a metal thread so it won't wear out um, I did review uh, a pen recently that I got on Amazon it had metal thread going into acrylic and my concern with that one was if you keep changing the tips you're going to wear the acrylic thread and basically it won't work so this one is metal and metal so no problems with that, you just screw in and they have 
a little black washer to cushion them so that's quite nice and then it's the same with the round tip metal to metal it even squeaks <coughs> so that is how the pen comes and we have uh, the B note logo nice looking pen um, a bit narrow yeah I would probably use this end but um, <coughs> it's good that it has that it's it's narrower here than here so if you like thicker pens you probably use this end and if you like narrower pens you would probably use this end um, and you can even move your hand back so it's even narrower um, it has these ridges so it's, it's not going to slip uh, got a good uh, grip on that so pretty cool um, it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be but it's nicely made uh, definitely nicely made I like the fact that they screw in they won't uh, get loose it's nice so we'll have a look at the little bag that came with it this one's even more cool fancy so the little star bag contains the other tips so we'll have a look at them if I can open it just tip them out I think if they want to come out so we have small multiplacer again metal thread so metal tip we have gooseneck tip if you prefer the angled tips to your pens the plastic one and we have a bigger multiplacer and an even bigger multiplacer and finally a straightener so it comes with a normal round tip square tip three different sizes multiplacer angled tip and a straight edge which is quite a nice uh, collection there I really like the the idea of the tips um, metal to metal definitely will last a long time I like the shape of the pen uh, the weight is not too heavy if I compare it to the wooden pen that I'm using it is heavier um, even though it's thinner but this is wood so it's quite light um, yeah just trying to get an idea that uh, the thing is I like wooden pens I like the tactile feel of them they, uh, it's hard to explain but they just feel nice to use um, <coughs> this is actually quite tactile as well I prefer this to the acrylic um, the ridges help get a better better grip but I like the design I like the fact that one end of the pen is thicker than the other because obviously if you decide you're not doing squares or you don't want to use a square tip you can take it out and uh, you can put in a different tip because they'll, they'll be the same thread so I can switch it over if I wanted to use a gooseneck um, and maybe I don't use multiplacers at all I've never used them um, so purely for aesthetics I would probably stick this on the end a straightener um, I never use them either so if I was going to use a pen I wouldn't use a gooseneck I've tried them but I think I'm so used to using the straight tips um, that I just prefer them so for me this would be my pen straightener just there for the sake of it um, it also helps to stop the pen rolling off the table because I'm using a, a angled uh, surface I use a drafting table that's tilted up so if I put like a normal pen that's what happens 
So if I put the straightener on the end, it stops it rolling away. Not really bother for, but it works. So um, yeah, that's it. Uh, B note. Very nice packaging. Um, very nice quality pen. Very nice quality tips. Um, definitely a step above uh, any other pens I've seen thinking about it. Purely for the fact that it's metal to metal. It's not just plastic and push it in and hope or put a bit of tape around it so it sticks, that type of thing. Um, it's definitely engineered, so... Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, the only other thing to do is actually try it. So I'm thinking... As I said, I'd probably go for the thicker end. And that was the square one, don't want that. So I'll go for the thicker end with the straight tip. Just put this on and stop it rolling away. And I'll move these out of the way. And I've got uh, the one that I'm working on at the moment is underneath here. So I thought I would just have a quick little try just to see how well it works. So just finished this section so I'm going to start on this one so I need to reach under the table switch the light pad on and uh, here we go <coughs> so um, first thing I need to do is find the key so number 14 and the tree as I was saying, the, the trays really need that line. Um, this is the tray I use. It's much bigger uh, if you compare it to the sort of standard size tray that you get. It sits inside it. I prefer these really big trays. You can put in quite a few drills and spread them out well, so it makes it nice and easy to pick them up. Um, so we'll give a bash with these. So push them out. And as I said, these ridges are important. Um, you just shake the tray side to side, the drills will bounce about and then eventually they will sit. Depends on when you want to shake them. But I don't really, I'm not the type of person that shakes it until everything's flat. As long as most of them are flat, that's fine. I'll use what's there and then I shake it again. That's just the way I do it. Everybody's different. So I'll put them over there. Obviously the first thing I need to do is put some wax in the pen. So I'm just going to use this square that was sitting, not use the fancy hat. Um, so just push it in, give it a twist. Hopefully we get a hole, which we did. Um, the way, what I do is I use my thumb and I just rub across the top to uh, push the wax in and pick up any excess and then when I diamond paint in fact I just notice it's kind of dark I think we'll get some extra light in here um, when I diamond paint using a pen <coughs> what I do is I basically just touch the drill I, I don't press it I just touch it because if you press it you push some wax out the tip but can't really go anywhere especially with these ones the normal tips um, have a tiny little hole in them and the wax starts going up inside here once you've been using it for a while you'll see a little worm thing going up but these ones are machined and they don't have a hole in them so when you press down on the wax because it's flat and the end of the pen the the drill is dome shaped so it pushes up into the wax and that means that the wax comes out around the drill um, if you don't press hard you get a tiny amount and I find that being really light with them uh, you change your wax or have to replace your wax less often so I just basically touch and touch so I always do the checkerboard pattern when I can. Doesn't matter if it's even just three drills, I will put them in a checkerboard. 
I'll put in either the middle one and then one either side or I'll put the left hand one, the right hand one and then one in the middle, just varies. But I, I never place drills in a row one after the other. So I'll always do a checkerboard if I can. Obviously um, if it's only two you can't do a checkerboard of any kind. But I just do that. Um, this is picking up absolutely fine, no problems at all. And actually, in use, it feels light. Um, it doesn't feel heavy at all. I was thinking that because it's made of metal, it would be feeling kind of heavy, which might be a concern for some people. But uh, it doesn't feel heavy to me. Um, maybe after three hours of diamond painting it might be a different story but the initial impression is it uh, feels absolutely fine. The ridges I like. Um, I can feel the ridges when I'm holding the pen and they definitely help you to get a better grip. I mean I don't squeeze the pen hard but it stops the pen sliding because if it was just a smooth surface and you don't hold it uh, hard enough, um, it's going to slide. But those ridges mean that you don't have to squeeze it quite as hard. I like the fact that it's wasted as well, so if I get fed up or tired holding it this time, I, I can slide my fingers down and just get that a little bit of a difference, which can make a, a big difference. So, uh, yeah, it works really well. No problems. It was just a little, a little tester, and uh, yeah, it's nice. I like it. I like the tips, like the one that I use normally. Um, they have this smooth uh, side, rather than if you use the normal diamond painting pen, it's like a step. And I know this is a minor thing, but if I pick up a drill and I realise it's misshaping, it's quite easy with these smooth ones to just basically pick it up, go over your tray and just flick the drill off. Um, when you're using this type of pen, it's a bit more fiddly to do that. It just feels more natural um, to do that. And I think these tips just look better than the basic one. So, yeah, definitely a thumbs up. Really nice pen. Um, well designed. I can't see or think of any real negatives to be honest. Uh, no. So, B note. Metal diamond painting pen. So that was the B note metal diamond painting pen. Um, really, really nice. Um, it's nice to see companies who step things up and take a bit more thought about their pens. Uh, I think the, the screw-in metal tips is a really good idea. Obviously it's going to work best uh, when it screws into a metal pen or even a metal bushing. I mean, the companies that do the acrylic pens, um, I don't see why they couldn't put in a little insert. So you could screw tips in, uh, so steel against steel. Then you don't get the wobbly tips um, that don't fit quite right or the ones that are really tight. Um, so yeah, it's it's a really good idea, I think. And um, a nice selection of different tips as well. First time I've seen a square uh, tip for a diamond painting pen. I will be trying it. Um, it's just the, the, the one that I'm working on that you saw uh, is round drills. When I go into a square one, um, I'll do another video and I'll use the square tip and see if it really is any different from using a round. I've only used round tips for the past three years when I started um, and I've never had a problem picking up squares with a round tip. So I'm just curious to see if 
it is any different. Um, so the only way to find out is to try it. So I'll do that as a little video uh, when I do my next square diamond painting. Um, the quality of the pen is very high. Um, it's really, really nicely made. I really like the shape. I like the fact that one end is a bit thinner than the other. So it, it sort of cares for everybody. I know uh, some people like thin pens, some people like thicker pens. Uh, it could be that it changes over time. You might prefer a thicker pen just now. A few years time you might think oh, it's too thick or the opposite. Um, I know that people who suffer from arthritis um, tend to have problems holding like narrow pens and um, the thicker pens are just more comfortable. So um, a lot of variety in how to hold the pen, um, which is important because you're going to be holding and using the pen for hours on end probably. Uh, most diamond painters, once they get in the in the groove, uh, they can diamond paint for quite a long time. And the more comfortable the pen is, the better it is for you. So uh, yeah, B-Note. Um, I just accidentally stumbled upon it and I thought, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get that. And it wasn't quite as easy because uh, as I said, they don't have them on Amazon.de. So I had to order it from the States. Um, but I see that the states uh, are the same as uh, Europe. Amazon seem to go crazy when it comes to package sizes. I mean, this is the size of the pen in two little bags. Um, the package is huge. So uh, I'm sure there's a reason for it. But I always find that with Amazon, the packaging tends to be a bit excessive. So, uh, yeah, Beano metal diamond painting pen. I would say if you're looking for a pen that's a bit different, um, definitely want to check out. Um, really nicely made. I really like this pen. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more uh, unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, accessories, square tip pen test coming up. Um, anything to do with diamond painting please subscribe and hit the notification button if you do that you may catch me live on youtube i do random youtube lives just basically when i can fit the time in and i enjoy talking to diamond painters all around the world about all different things and um, we talk about diamond painting we talk about the weather we talk about just anything really I'm just, uh, I'm always curious uh, where people are in the world and just learning a little bit about uh, where they live. So if you're interested uh, in catching me live and seeing what I'm working on, please feel free. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.